Hello everyone, Thomas here with the Blancman Telescope Shop and welcome to November's edition of What's in the Sky. This month we'll take you on a magnificent tour of the southern night sky. November offers a mix of brilliant planets, star clusters, nebulae and galaxies that are both perfect for naked eye stargazing and telescope viewing. So grab your scope or binoculars and let's see what's waiting for us in this month's What's in the Sky. Our first stop is the beautiful planet Saturn, a highlight of the evening sky. At around 10pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, Saturn is high and well positioned for observation. The planet sits roughly 1.4 billion kilometres away from Earth, and through any telescope, Saturn remains a breathtaking sight. Depending on the night, you can see up to five of Saturn's moons, Titan, Rhea, Dione, Enceladus and Tethys. You can find out which moons you're viewing by using the Stellarium website or Stellarium mobile app. To view Saturn in all its glory, we would recommend the Celestron Star Sense Explorer LT127. And if you're ever curious about other telescopes we recommend for planetary viewing, you can check out the handy Telescopes for Planets category we have on our website. Now look south for one of the treasures of the southern sky, the Small Magellanic Cloud, located in the constellation Tucana. This dwarf galaxy lies about 200,000 light years away and is visible to the naked eye as a hazy patch of light. Through binoculars or a short focal length telescope, you will see a mottled glow dotted from clusters and nebulae. If you're imaging, aim for the bright star form region NGC 346 inside the cloud. It's stunning in photos. We recommend to view this object at around 10 p.m. Right beside the small Magellanic cloud is 47 Tucane. Also in Tucana, 47 Tuck is one of the brightest globular clusters in the sky. It's located about 13,000 light years away and the even small telescope reveals its dense, glittering core. For many southern observers, this is a favourite target to show beginners as it is packed with hundreds of thousands of ancient stars. We recommend to view this object at 10pm. For something more northern, we have the Andromeda Galaxy, or M31, in the constellation Andromeda. At roughly 2.5 million light years away, it's the most distant object visible to the naked eye. From Australia and New Zealand, it sits low above the northern horizon, so you'll need clear, dark skies to see it. Try using binoculars to pick up its long, cigar-shaped glow along with its two small companion galaxies, M32 and M110. We recommend to view this object directly after sunset. This object will cross the horizon very quickly at 11pm, giving you little time to see it. You'll need an uninterrupted view of the northwest sky to get the best view. Next up is M77, also known as NGC 1068, found in the constellation Cetus. This one can be a tricky spot for a telescope as you'll usually only see a faint fuzzy core. However, it's an incredible target for astrophotography. M77 is a Seifert galaxy about 47 million light years from Earth, powered by a supermassive black hole at its centre. With long exposure, you can capture its beautiful spiral arms and the delicate dust lanes winding around them. It is absolutely worth the effort. As midnight gets closer, look towards the north and you'll see the Great Orion Nebula shining brightly in the constellation Orion. It's about 1,344 light years from Earth and is one of the most beautiful sights in the night sky. For a telescope, the nebula looks like a glowing cloud of gas and dust, lit up by the trapezium cluster at its centre, a place where new stars are forming. That completes our tour of November's night sky. From Saturn's rings to distant clusters and colourful nebulae, there is plenty to see and photograph this month. If you capture any of these sites, share your photos with us in the comments or tag us on social media.